huge congratulations. We saw what that result meant to you up there. How are you feeling after coming oh, through that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I put the work in. It wasn't just fight for this tournament, obviously, for the World Championships. And I never really got going until it was too late. And I thought, obviously, against Marcus Smith. To me, he's probably in the top three players in, in the world. So I, I'm acting up. What was going through your mind as he's taken out those big ton plus finishes for fun? You're scoring well and he can't <laughs> miss those finishes. I was thinking, what have we got to do? Win a game, you know what <laughs> I mean? Um, that's what he can do, though. I, I knew I knew it was up against anyway, you know what I mean? I, I knew that anyway from the start. But when it's happened four times on the trot, I'm thinking, oh, oh. But, uh, you know, five weeks at least, I held me bottle. Was there extra pressure on this game because of the world's disappointment? Sorry, somebody walking, I can't see you, sorry. Was there extra pressure on this game for you after the Worlds? Um, I think there was extra pressure on both of us. I think, um, you know, obviously Michael lost exactly the same round as me in the first round. Um, so there was extra pressure. Obviously, I'm a little bit, a little bit more experienced than, than Mike. And, um, well, like I said, lucky enough. The, listen, Michael Smith is one of the best players ever throw a dart. You know, let's put things in perspective here now. Michael Smith is one of the best I've ever seen. On a personal note, were you glad to see the back of 2020? Very difficult. Definitely, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. I, I really struggled. Um, I think what was... What, you don't understand, when I'm playing, when I've been playing darts, you know, week in, week out, maybe three or four tournaments a week, from going there, from having like two months off and then playing another tournament, I'm not one of them players who can just deal with it. I can't. I've never, you know, I don't like that. Did it take you a while as well to get the failed COVID test out of your system? Because you didn't really see yourself after that. Well, I feel like I still feel knackered now all the time. I couldn't like, I couldn't like turn around now and run up a set of stairs. Gee, thank you. I couldn't run up a set of stairs without feeling out of breath. It's, it's really annoyed me, to be fair. Looking ahead to the rest of the year, a lot's been made of it. Is this the biggest year of your career to date? What you're fighting that's, for? That's what everybody's, you know, that's what everybody's saying. But I know my ability and I believe in my ability. And as long as I believe, I've got a chance of beating anybody. And I don't care who they are. I've seen them all. I've seen the best of Raymond. I've seen the best of Phil. And if I can beat them when they're on top form, and Michael as well, I can, I can beat anybody. And that's, that's, that's my mentality. 2011, 2012, you were undoubtedly the best player on the planet. Is that game still in there? I can be better than that. Yeah? I can be better than that. And I was only learning, you know what I mean? I'm only learning. And I still feel like I'm learning now. Last time we spoke to you as well, you said you'd had a chat with Phil again. Have you still picking his brain on everything recently? Yeah, well, he hasn't been too well, has he, Phil? So I've left him alone, to be honest. Um, so we'll, we'll move on to that another day. Adrian, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Top man, Phil, you. Eddie, yeah, congratulations on the win and a great performance tonight. Um, you mentioned about the COVID situation there. A lot of fans probably won't realise how serious that was then. It wasn't, no. I'll I tell you what happened right, Jamie. I'll tell you the very truth now. I've turned up to the, the, the Grand Prix. Um, I had no symptoms. I, I didn't have a cough all the way through. You know, I, I never experienced that. And then when Graham's not, Graham Ferris knocked on my door, the tournament director, and said, you, you've tested positive. I'm thinking, no. Uh, no chance here. And uh, I thought, well, I must be, you know, I've, I've, I've tested positive. I've gone back to back home. Um, two days after that, I started having uh, a loss of a sense of taste and my smile and everything else. I was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, I'm thinking, what's going on here? But honestly, to God, uh, I don't think I've ever felt so ill after that. I think um, it took on my energy. Even now, if I'm on the upper set of stairs, I feel out of breath. Well, I was in the full Tyson Fury wake-up before that. I can't even do that now, which is annoying me, because that's what I want to do, you know what I mean? I want to get fit. So that has, has really annoyed me. Psychologically, in terms of the win tonight, how important was it to, to hit the ground running in this new season? Massive. Absolutely massive. Um, everybody's writing me off, as they always have done, but... Like I've always said to you, you know, I don't care what people say about me. It's what I do. If I turn up, I've got a great chance of beating anybody. If I don't turn up, then, you know, then it's one of them. How does that make you feel when you hear about people writing you off on social media? Do you pay any attention to that? Of course I do, yeah. I've, I've had a go. You're in the past, aren't you? You know what I mean? Even though I like you, I do. I've still, you know, I thought, no, you can't say that about me. And, and that's, that's how I am.
Do you feel like there's a really big season ahead in you two to get back on the upward curve? I do, yeah. I do. I do. Well, now everybody's told me this. But uh, as, as a person, I never ever take anybody notice or what anybody says to me. I'm always going to be my own person. Like me or, or hate me. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'll try my best. And if my best is not good enough, well, I'll, I'll, I'll lose. And just looking ahead to tomorrow, it's uh, Gary Anderson. The first time you'll have played him on TV for four years, I think it is. Yeah. It's a game that you're really looking forward to. It certainly is. I think, obviously, with Gary, I should have played him a lot more time since the, you know, the World Final. But it was down to me. Gary's still stuck up there. And Gary does what Gary does. He's an awesome player. You know, he's one of the best ever lived. So, yeah, I'll be up for it. And I'll try my very best. Eddie, thanks very much for your time. Well played Good tonight. Good game. Top man. Eddie, are those, sort of, are those the sort of games that you've been losing on the Pro Tour quite regularly? You've been playing well, but you've just not managed to get over the line. I haven't. I, 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 it's very annoying because I've been averaging 100 plus and then losing games. And it does not your confidence. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're averaging 105, 106 and losing games, it's going to affect you. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. Mm. But, and then you can average, you know, 90 odd and win games. But you know what you can do and what you should be doing. And sometimes it does affect you. You talked about you need competitive action and you need that to, to play your best game. How much was it of a, of a boost was it to be in the Masters in, in the 24 this year? I was just uh, so so happy to be involved in the first place, you know. And to be fair, I didn't even know I was playing in the Masters. It's only when my wife said to me, um, Aid, you're playing Michael Smith. I said, well, what in? <laughs> she went, the, the Masters? I said, no, it's only top 16. I think you got the, you know, you must have been looking for a couple of years ago or something. And um, I was just so happy, you know, and I'm so grateful to the BDC for giving me that opportunity. How important is it in terms of momentum and keeping this good form going that you can have a few few good results here and you never know what might come in the next Listen, I'm not daft, you know what I mean? I know what's what's ahead of me. I know what work I've got put in. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's massive. This, this year is massive. I could probably win this, you know what I mean? And still be number 20, 24 in the rankings, which will probably be a disappointment. But that, that, that's the reality of it. Yeah, well, thank you very much for your time, Adrian. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you.